Alrighty then people of the interwebs, in this video I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite horror movies of all time. In no specific order. So to start off I'm going to pick Stay Alive. It's about this, these, this, it starts out as this guy, he's playing a game and he dies in the game. And eventually catches up with him and it, it kills him how he died in the game in real life. And this, his friend picked after he dies his friend goes in to his house and picks up the game and him and a group of his friends play the game and they have to figure out a way to stay alive it's directed by I don't know but it's a good film it's from um Who made this? I don't know, but it's a good film. And my next one is from New Line Cinema, and it's the remake of Willard. I really liked Crispin Clover in this one. He did a really fantastic job. It's about this guy who finds out that his basements are full, full of rats. And his boss is being real, real jerk to him, and he, he decides to seek revenge on him by training these mice to kill him. Really good one. And then the next one, I'm gonna explain the rest because pretty much the rest you, most of you people have already seen. So the next one is Insidious. It's not the house that's haunted. It's it's about well this guy he this kid he's uh haunted instead of the house being haunted and this group the this family thinks it's a house so they move and the same things that were happening in the former house is happening in the new house and they find out that it's not them that's haunted it's their kid that's haunted and they try to seek help for him and next one is probably one of the goriest movies I've ever seen and it's Hostel, directed by Eli Roth, I do believe. Yeah. If you haven't seen this, this is a must-see. So go and watch that one. And then the next one is an Alfred Hitchcock movie from way, way back. 1960s yeah 1960 and it's Psycho Norman Bates if you haven't seen this one watch it okay this next I'm just gonna name them off these next because if you haven't seen them you need to next one stars um Tim Reed and John Ritter and it's Stephen King's It. Now, I'm not I'm not afraid of clowns, but this clown is hella creepy. The master of horror unleashes everything you were ever afraid of. This clown finds out what your fears are and then uses it against you and kills you. Good movie. Then the next one, it may not be everybody's favorite horror movie, but it's from New Line as well. And it's it's my favorite of the Friday the 13th movies. And it's Jason X. Futuristic, It's it takes place in space. And I like how that one guy comes back in the end and like, like pushes him down into Earth and like just obliterates both of them. And the next one is kind of like a... It's not Tales from the Crypt. It's sort of like Tales from the Crypt. Except for just a bunch of mini movies pushed into one. And it's from George A. Romero and Stephen King. And it's The Creep Show. If you haven't seen it, it's a must-see as well. 
This next one, uh, I've searched on the internet, and not many people have heard of it, which really disappoints me because it's a really good movie. And it's from Turner Pictures. I think this is the first movie I've heard from them. It's really good. It has Denzel Washington and John Goodman, which both did stellar performances in it. And it's called... Fallen. Don't trust a soul. It's about this this guy. He in the beginning in the opening scenes. It's he's in this jail. He's in prison on death row for a crime he committed. I can't remember what crime it was. But he gets electrocuted and he dies. But his spirit lives on through other people. And the way he gets back at the detective who arrested him is he travels from body to body with his touch of a human hand and Denzel Washington plays a character by the name of John Hobbs and he has to find a way to stop him before he kills any more people as he as he possesses souls and he goes on to the next body he kills the previous occupant so that's a that's a good movie that you should check out and this next one the final one now these DVDs are not in any order but this one is my number one favorite film of all movies the best franchise I think that there is and pro mo mo more than likely the best slasher film that I, that I like and that's and the the director is Wes Craven and that's A Nightmare on Elm Street I really love this movie can't express to you how much I love this movie if you haven't seen it then you must have been living under a rock. This movie is fantastic. And if you haven't seen it, go see it. And it, it's it's it actually stars um one of Johnny Depp's major roles is in this movie. Which I thought was really, really awesome. A great cast, great cast. Got John Saxon in it great movie so yeah now you have it my top 10 DVDs horror movies thank you for watching stay tuned for the top 10 comedy movies of all time have a terrific day